Alright guys, what's up everybody? So today welcome to my movie review. So today's movie review, we're gonna review Shazam, Fury of the Gods. So yeah, so I'm probably gonna see this movie on the, on on my phone instead of you know going to the going to the movies and theaters because you know apparently I mean I wasn't interested in seeing movies in the movie theaters considering that uh, Koresh Gunn, James Gunn getting rid of Henry Cavill Superman and plus announcing a reboot. No wonder why this movie's not doing the one in the box office because because Koresh Gunn you will announce a fucking reboot. Do you think people are gonna care for this movie? Now people are gonna care about the Flash because Michael Keaton is in that movie. It, um, he he he's the reason why people are seeing this movie over pedophile ass Ezra Miller, rapist Ezra Miller, and then um, Blue Beetle. Let's see about that. I mean, yeah, I'm into also camera for Blue Beetle, but then again, eh. Same with Aquaman two, and apparently there's bad movie. Apparently last month we got bad test reads for Aquaman two. I wonder if we're gonna fix that. I don't know. Bad. Oh boy, it's not gonna do well. Coresco, what are you doing, man? What are you doing, man? You shouldn't, you shouldn't announce a fucking reboot. But anyways, let's get to the movie. Movie. I thought she was having Fear of the Gods. I, I don't know. I wasn't even interested in this movie. I thought this movie was gonna, you know, all made. Yeah, I thought this movie was fun. It wasn't. I don't think it was a bad movie, in my opinion. But if you think it's a bad movie, then I, then I respect your, then, then I respect your opinion. But anyways, um, yeah, she's having Fear of the Gods. Um, yeah, I thought I don't know. I wasn't excited for this movie. Yeah. Because stupid James Gunn, that's why. But they fucking get rid of Henry Cow Superman. I'm like, why do we get rid of the. I mean, this. If, I mean, your universe is not even going to be a full reboot, and you're going to keep all the days Amanda Waller. But, anyways. Yeah, like I said, Shazam. Yeah, I thought it was a fun movie. I still think the first one was better. Yeah, but I was not excited to see this one. But I saw my phone. I thought it was a fun movie. All of it. Um, it's, it's a movie that you would take your family. All of it, Dan. Uh, your family to watch it. But. Yeah, but of course, uh, people are not watching. Some people are not going to movies watching this movie because of course, fucking James Gunn announced a fucking reboot. Why would he announce a fucking reboot? You fucking moron. But anyways, let's get to the movie review. So yeah, so so apparently we got Zachary Levi, Shazam, Billy Batson. So yeah, um, yeah, of course, uh, Shazam, Zachary Levi. I thought he was great. You know, great Shazam. I know there's controversy between Zachary Levi and all that, and you know, so, yeah, all of me sometimes. You know, Zachary Levi. You know, kind of pisses pisses off some some fans, I'll say. But yeah, Zachary Levi was great. Was fun. Was good at Shazam. Um, it sucks that we're not gonna see Shazam vs. Black Adam because apparently, uh, fucking yesterday, rumors about fucking The Rock and Zachary Levi having a beef. Uh, the Rock not wanting sh not wanting his characters from Black Adam, Hawkman, Cyclone, Adam Smasher not to be in Shazam. Um, in the Sh Shazam sequel, so instead they got um. Uh, Amelia Hardcore, Jennifer Holland, James Gunn's wife, and uh, I forgot what was that character's name. Uh, Steve Agee's character, uh, Icon John Economos. That's right, John Economos, and uh, and from Peacemaker. Now he's in, Shaz he's in Shazam: Fear the Gods. But yeah, but so apparently they were recruiting Shazam to join the Just Society. So yeah, but overall, fucking Rock, man, what are you doing, Rock? Black Adam's supposed to be the arch nemesis. Shazam's arch is supposed to be Black Adam, you like, fucking moron. I can't believe I'm calling the Rock a moron. <laughs> Great. Wow, just... Well, I don't even... I honestly don't think the Rock's gonna max Black Adam. I think they're gonna recast Black Adam. I just... I don't know. I'll be surprised if he comes back, but I don't think... I mean, come on. They got rid of Henry Cavill. Don't... I mean, the Rock... I mean, the Rock's ego has gone way too far. I don't think that motherfucker's come back to play Black Adam. Um, meanwhile, um... I don't know about Zachary Levi. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. I don't even know if they're gonna do Shazam 3. I don't know, man. The box is looking good, but I mean, I guess that's what you get for announcing a fucking reboot. Koresh gun. But anyways, let's go ahead. But, but yeah, secondly, what the great Shazam, you know, just like the first one. I mean, so yeah. Anyways, that's that extra angel was cool as Billy Batson. So so yeah. Um, then we got Jack Dylan Gracers, so uh, Freddie Freeman. So yeah, like I said, I am um, Jack Dylan Gracers was great as Freddie Freeman. Like like his acting. Uh, I think he's kind of funny, but. Yeah, um, you see that Rachel Sigler's Anthea. Yeah, she was cool. Um, uh, Grace Caroline Curry. Apparently, she, I guess she changed her name, last name because apparently her name was Grace Fulton. Yeah, she was. Yeah, she was hot. She was pretty. She was sexy, <laughs> as Mary Bromfield. Um, Mary Bromfield. So, yeah. So overall, that's that. And then uh, who else we got? We got Russ Bowen and Chen as Eugene Cho. Yeah, he was cool. And then we got DJ Cotrona and Joe Harmon. That's Peter Pena. Oh God, and he was okay, but there's one, there's one scene that you're gonna hate, and that's where Pedro says that 
apparently where uh, Shazam reveals his identity to to the parents where, where they're all standing together and saying that they're, they're that they're Shazam that they're, they're Shazam meanwhile Pedro says that I'm gay and I'm like what the god of course and apparently you know before the movies apparently I think David Sandberg confirmed that Pedro was gay so yeah and it, apparently Pedro says I'm gay and apparently Shazam is and the rest of and the Shazam family saying that we know we know that you're gay. <laughs> well, I'm like, oh, man, they, that was a cringe scene. Of course they, of course they made him gay for no reason. No, nah, they gave, they made him gay because of Hollywood politics. That's why the LGBTQ politics, Hollywood woke agenda. That's why. Ah, so dumb. <laughs> but anyways, <laughs> Hollywood is fucking trash, bro. With this garbage woke ass agenda. But anyways, um, we got Megan Good and Faith Herman as Starla Dudley. Yeah, she was she was funny. She was. She was funny and pretty and cute in this movie. So, yeah. Um, Lucy Lewis Calypso, you know, right villain. You know, Lucy Lewis Lucy kind of kicks some ass in this movie. So, yes, and then, um, Digimon Hansu is the wizard Shazam. Yeah, Digimon Hansu was great. Great and, yeah, you know, great wizard. And apparently in, in the end, around the end of Shazam, apparently the wizard turns back to Apparently the wizard gets a new haircut and he he cuts his beard and at the end he he's like a normal person <laughs> and he visits uh, the Shazam the Shazam family at the end at the like at the dinner like at the end of the movie so yeah uh, let me see uh, then we got Mister um, Bill Foster's foster family um, Marta Millens and Cooper Andrews as Rosa and Victor Vasquez yeah the, the the Shazam parents are great man I actually do like the stepfather uh, the biological the stepfather, um, who's the stepfather, um, Cooper Andrews, that's the actor's name. So, yeah, I think he's funny, funny, and I think he's funny, he's great, but yeah, um, overall, yeah, that's that. Um, oh, and of course, of course, I'm not gonna say spoiler because come on now, this review is already spoilers already, so maybe I should, you know what, that, that's why the that's why there's a title. I'm sorry if I didn't issue a word. Um, a spoilers in the beginning of the movie, but uh, the beginning of the video, but I put spoilers in the title, so yes, apparently, I mean, to be honest, they already revealed this before the movie came out, and of course, rumors about it, you know, apart, yes, Gal Gadot is in the movie as Wonder Woman at the end of Shazam, apparently she's there to resurrect Shazam Billy Batson, and yes, apparently Shazam Billy Batson dies from from the battle, he, yeah, apparently he dies, he looks like, it was, it was sort of like BBS, it was kind of like BBS where Superman, you know, died, or you know he gets stabbed uh fucking doomsday stabs him with a kryptonite he, like a kryptonite sword i don't know something like that and then fucking superman ends up dying and he and something like, and it's same thing shazam all of a sudden has like a like i don't like a fucking like a stick lightning and then all of a sudden it, it kills a fucking godzilla looking ass dragon <laughs> so yeah and apparently shazam ends up dying and you know it's a, kind of sacrificing himself so yes but then all of a sudden during the end we do see the Shazam and his family, and, a, and the wizard uh, all of a sudden celebrating the funeral. Billy Batson. And all of a sudden, a Wonder Woman appears and and grabs the stick, the wizard stick, and all of a sudden, she like resurrects Billy Batson, and all of a sudden, Billy Batson Shazam gets resurrected. So, yeah. So overall, that was that. That was a quick cameo from Gal Gadot. I don't, so yeah, I don't even know if these. I wonder if this is gonna be the final days of Gal Gadot's Wonder Woman because apparently, there are rumors that Gal Gadot might also might not probably. Might not be in the new DC with Wonder Woman, so yeah. And apparently she might. She I think she's gonna appear in the Flash because apparently there's a like a pop vinyl, uh, you know the Flash, and also there's Wonder Woman. So I'll, I wonder if she's gonna appear in the Flash, and also there's test screenings in the Flash that she is gonna she is in the movie. But I heard they, they, they cut her out, so I don't know. But yeah, so we're seeing the final days of Gal Gadot's as Wonder Woman. So, so yeah, so I don't. So yeah, but who knows? Maybe maybe for some reason maybe Koreshka might keep her. I don't know, but let's see. Let's see what happens. Uh, yeah. All right. Who else we got? Um, and of course, on um, in the post credit scenes, we have Jennifer Jennifer Holland, as me the car cord and uh, and uh, Steve McKee is John Economos at the end credit scene. So, so yeah. Apparently, they do appear in the end credit scene recruiting Shazam. Shazam also on Shazam makes jokes saying that, "Oh, wait a minute, Justin. Wait a minute." Just and he was kind of disappointed because he actually wanted to join Just League, but he was like, oh, just, he was kind of offended with the Just Society name. Just Society, what the heck, man? Th th you gotta stop with the, 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 the I don't, the misspelled name, something like that, mispronounced name. Sort of like the clickbaiting, the 
title heading names, something like that. <laughs> but overall, yeah, Shazam. I guess he's part of just society now. I mean, it wouldn't matter if fucking Rock kept his fucking ego in it. Maybe you could, maybe you could see Shazam and Black Adam fight against each other. And that's what we should see Shazam 3, but it's probably not going to happen. I don't know. Unless they're going to be cast a new actor. I don't know. I don't even know if Shazam 3 is going to happen. I wonder, or maybe they're just going to reboot Shazam. I don't even know. I don't even fucking know, man. <sighs> Jesus. So, yes. And of course, in the, um, um, in the end credit scenes or the post credit scenes, we do see Mark, Mark Strong come back to Dr. Shazam. Oh, man. This was terrible. I'm sorry. This is fucking terrible. I mean, <laughs> Mark Strong is Dr. Shazam. Apparently, he has a beard and he has glasses. Apparently, Mr. Mind is back. But apparently, they're like, Mark, um, Dr. Shazam is like, oh, my God. What took you so long? It's been like, so three three hundred days. Oh my god, oh my god, it's been like three years. Um, what took you so? What about the planet? And Mr. Mind's like, yeah, yeah, don't worry, I'll be the planet. Something about the planet. Something about the planet. All of a sudden, all of a sudden he's like, yeah, just take me. Yeah, just wait for me to make a new planet. All of a sudden, Mr. Mind. Um, yeah, apparently we all thought that Mr. Mind was gonna be the villain for them too. Nope, instead it's the daughter of Atlas. But of course, um, oh, uh, let's see. Uh, yeah, all of a sudden during the end. All of a sudden, all of a sudden, Mr. Mind, alright, don't worry, I got a plan, Dr. Shazam, alright, let's hear the plan, all of a sudden, Mr. Mind fucking escapes, and Mr. Dr. Shazam's like, god damn it, <laughs> Jesus Christ, that was, that was fucking weird, and also it was trash, I'm sorry, really, I, I'm guessing this means that Dr. Savannah and Mr. Mind's friendship is broken, I mean, friendship, I don't even know, I mean, pardon, is broken, I mean, I guess because it's due to the fucking DC reboot, I mean, I don't even know if we're gonna see those characters, I don't even know it's just that three is gonna be made, so yeah. But that was kind of a weird post credit scene. Also, Mister Mister Mind escapes. Oh my god, this this was fucking weird. Hey, with that said, oh, and I totally forgot about Helen Mirren as I think Calypso. I think that's her name. Calypso. Yeah. Oh no 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 no, that's not her name. Uh, Aspero Aspero. I think. Yeah, Aspero. Uh, Helen Mirren Aspero. Yeah, she was a she was alright. Right in this movie, and apparently, yeah, she dies. Apparently, Calypso ends up killing her. Uh, well, Calypso. Soul's dragon ends up killing her, and all of a sudden she gets resurrected by Shazam, and um, and, you know, all of a sudden, uh, Calypso tells the ways to, to Billy Bats to Billy to stop, you know, Calypso. So yeah, his Sparrow, Helen Mirren's character, and all of a sudden at the end, Helen Mirren's like, "That is a true god right there, that is indeed a god right there." Something like that, and all of a sudden she ends up dying. So, yeah, but overall, yeah. Oh, apparently, uh, David Sandberg made a cameo in this fucking movie, but he, he uh, yeah, apparently we saw a cameo, apparently, you know, white, a white guy, fat hair, kind of a little chubby, I, I would say he's chubby, a little chubby, um, apparently he was, like, running all of a sudden, like, the dragon grabbed him, and he, like, dropped into the water, that, that was kind of funny, oh my god, well, I, <laughs> yeah, that, that was kind of, that was a kind of funny cameo, I didn't, yeah, I just noticed that until I saw David Sandberg's white hair, so, yeah, but David Sandberg was in the Shazam cameo, um, oh, Yes. Uh, Dietrich Vader. <clears throat> Sorry. Um, Dietrich Vader appears in this movie as a, uh, as some t as a Billy's teacher, I believe, or Billy's principal. Billy's teacher. So yes. Apparently, he, he ends up being killed. Apparently, he kills himself uh, because Calypso uses her powers. You know, whispers his ears, and all of a sudden, freaking Dietrich Vader walks, walks. He like walks in there, and then all of a sudden, he like drops dead. So yeah, that was kind of weird. <laughs> Yeah, well, wow, that's just, <laughs> yeah, but it didn't show the dead body, though, so, yeah, but, yep, he's killed, but, yeah, that was, like, a cameo of Dietrich Bader, of course, you know, Dietrich Bader, who voices Batman, in Batman Brave, <laughs> um, in Batman Brave in the Boat, and also in Harvey Quinn, so, yes, and we got a cameo, um, Michael Gray makes a cameo, yes, Michael Gray, the original Billy Batson, apparently he makes a cameo, but apparently, you know, he's old now, because apparently he's, of course, uh, the, he played Captain Marvel Shazam in the 70s, and yeah, he makes a cameo and wearing like the Billy Batson original red color. And yeah, of course he's old now considering that he's 71 years old. So yeah, that, that, that Shazam, Captain Marvel cartoon came in the 70s. So yeah, but overall, um, he actually says, you go Captain Marvel. Yes, he says Captain Marvel, which is of course Billy Batson's original name. But you know, but of course the lawsuit between you know, Captain Marvel, 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 and you know, Captain Marvel says Shazam in DC. And that's why, you know, Billy Batson calls out Shazam. So yeah, so overall, Michael Gray makes a cameo. <laughs> the OG Billy Batson. The OG Billy Batson makes a cameo. So yes. And of course, speaking of Shazam, apparently, Billy Batson at the end. At the end. Um, <laughs> yeah, this was kind of a funny ending. Um, apparently, at the end, uh, Shazam was like, I wonder what's a superhero name. Superhero name. And then all of a sudden, the wizard says, your name is Shazam. And, and Billy Batson, oh! 
Oh, we get it. <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> so, yeah, but overall, that is Shazam Fear of the Gods. Yeah, it was a fun movie. Yeah, I, I give it a 7 out of 10, but I think the first Shazam, I give it uh, an 8 out of 10. Or 9 out of 10. Um, yeah, but I understand why people did not like this movie. Uh, of course, I thought I was going to hate this movie because, you know, come on, man. Now, yes, this movie was way better than Quantumania. Way better than Wakanda Forever. That bore trash of a film. Way, way better than Quantumania. Mid, mid ass trash movie. And then, um, way better than Thor Love and Thunder. So, yes. And let me see. So, yeah, but overall. <laughs> yeah, overall. Yeah, I, I would just suggest that you should definitely watch this movie. Uh, I mean, well, yeah, yeah, I'm with your fam yeah, with your family if you want to, but I mean, you don't have to go to the movies, you know, just like you can watch it on your phone, you know, you don't have to pay money, but money and anything. I mean, hey man, hey man, if you want to do what you, you do, do go ahead, do it. So, yeah, but anyways, um, uh, yeah, but anyways, uh, yeah, but like I said, those post credit things, I don't know if they mean anything now, considering that you know James Gunn announced a reboot, but then again, James Gunn did kept um. By Will Davis, Amanda Waller, and he's gonna do Peacemaker season two. So it's like a soft reboot. He's gonna 50 50 keep the actors of 50 50 recast. Like he's gonna be cast Henry Cavill, Ben Affleck. And apparently, Ben Affleck it doesn't, is not going to direct anything in James Gunn's movie. Good. Ben Affleck's way too goddamn good for James Gunn. He is. I'm glad Ben Affleck he secretly slammed James Gunn, even though saying, you know, saying that, yeah, yeah, he's a nice guy, but nah, don't really want to do anything about it. We're good. So, yes, but I don't know if he'll. Yeah, but James Gunn said that he, he'll do. Um, there's gonna be a new actor that's gonna play Batman, so yeah, I don't see Ben Affleck coming back. So unless if Henry Cavill comes back, Superman, maybe James Gunn, fucking change his mind, but that that's not gonna happen. That's not gonna happen. That's not gonna happen. Obviously, it's not gonna happen. So yeah, but it's like the Henry Cavill, you know, was out as Superman and stupid Koresh Gunn. And yeah, but I, I respect Ben Affleck and possibly getting rid of Gal Gadot, possibly. And Jason Momoa might be low. Jason Momoa might be lobo. and he should definitely get if he doesn't get rid of. The pedophile, rapist, Ezra Miller. That's it. I am not watching any DC movies in the movie theaters. Those shit belong on on the phone. Or maybe around 2025, I'll probably have a computer. Yes, either the phone or the computer. By that time, I'll probably have a computer. Those movies aren't going to the phone. The only DC movies I'm watching is the Batman movies. For a mad reason, that's it. Because those aren't part of the shitty DCU. I am boycotting everything DCU. They keep that fucking serial rape. I mean, not serial rape. Fuck you, looking like Richard Ramirez, <laughs> Ezra Miller, they keep that fucking rapist, pedophile, groomer, broom, beater, Ezra Miller, Ezra Miller. But I have a feeling James Gunn will keep him, and that's why, and that's why I watch this app on my phone. This is a taste. If Koresh Gunn keeps Ezra Miller, keeps Ezra Miller as the Flash in this new shitty DCU. So yeah, but anyways, what else? Oh, and of course, Ray Fisher. He ain't that. Fuck Ray Fisher. I don't give a fuck with Cryboy. Apparently, Ray Fisher is still like, Oh my god, Joss Whedon, apologize to me. Nigga, your apologize is over. Shut the fuck up. The fuck up. Go cry about it. Joss Whedon will never apologize to you. He shouldn't. That's why he should. You fucking ass. You fucking asshole. You're never coming. And, and plus, he had a fight with James Gunn, obviously. So, James Gunn ain't got hurt. No way in hell, Corey Gunn would hire. I mean, if he does, then Koresh Gunn's an idiot. If he, well, why would you hire your enemy? That's so dumb, Koresh Gunn. That's why. Oh, and another guy that James Gunn has a beef with is Jared Leto. Of course, James Gunn also has a beef with Jared Leto. Yeah, Jared Leto's definitely not come back to Joker. So yeah, that's that's the two actors that James Gunn has a beef with: Ray Fisher and Jared Leto. So yes, but anyways, uh, hell, maybe Henry Cavill will be one actor third, but yeah, man. But Koresh Gunn, you're a fool. Yes, but I understand why this movie. Isn't doing well at the box office, and I understand why people are not, you know, not interested in this movie. That's why people saw this shit on the phone. Yeah, I already, yeah, I already see that shit on the phone. But I, but I mean, if you want to take your family to see this movie, go ahead and see it, see it. But yeah, but I said to see it in the phone because you know, because you know, I don't have the time to you know watch the movie theaters. And besides, I don't want to spend. And plus, I wasn't planning to see this movie any in the theater anyways. So yeah, but anyways, guys, yeah, that was just after the guys movie review. Like I said, I don't know if those post credit scenes mean anything now. I, I, I don't know. They're pointless. I agree. All this is, yes, like I said, he did. Uh, Peacemaker Season 2 is possibly getting made, but that shit's on pause. And Waller, he did. Uh, Waller shows happening, and he did get by with Davis Waller. So it could happen. And apparently, James Gunn uh, was the one that cast Zachary Levi Shazam. Was the one that gave a suggestion to cast Zachary Levi Shazam. So. Yeah, oh, and apparently, uh, David Samberg. Yeah, it looks like David Samberg might not direct Shazam 3 because he looks like he's done doing superhero movies. So, 
So I don't know, man. I, I don't know. Maybe they're going to find a new director. Or hell, maybe they're just going to take. Maybe the similar to Wonder Woman 3, they cancel that shit. Or hell, I don't even. Oh, I'm yet to do that shitty oh, fucking Wonder Woman show, Paradise Lost. Like, who gives a fuck? Like, at all, Wonder Woman anime series? Jesus, are you disrespecting Wonder Woman? Like, why, James Koresh Gun? Why, James David Koresh Gun? Why are you disrespecting Wonder Woman like that? Like, who gives a fuck about anime series? Like, we literally have anime movies, of, two anime movies of Wonder Woman. Like, who cares? Like, why Why not have live... Like, I guess I don't... Minor live action reboot, I guess, but then again... I mean, I guess, since you're not gonna bring Gal Gadot back, and... I mean, why? Why are you disrespecting Wonder Woman like that? Like, that's... You're disrespecting the Green Lanterns by putting them on fucking Asian Max, but meanwhile, you're giving a fucking character like shit authority a fucking... I, sh I mean... A fucking live action, a live action show, a live action movie instead of a live action show, which it should be. I think they should be reversed. I think the lantern shit should be a movie, and the authority crap that shit should be a show, not a movie. No one's gonna see a fucking. No one gives a fuck. Only Koresh Gun Cultist, the Gun Cultist, will see that shit. But, and I mean, if he keeps us from Miller, I'm definitely not watching that shit in the movie theaters. Like, who's gonna give a fuck about the authority? Like, only. Corish Gun Cult is maybe some, you know, some DC fans, whatever. But yeah, but overall, you know, DC hardcore fans, I guess. But eh, who, who gives a fuck? <laughs> I mean, that shit should be an issue with Max series. Like, I don't even know. So, man, what Corish Gun is doing is made his DC slate was fucking mid as fuck. But yeah, but overall, Corish Gun, take an L, buddy. Take a fucking L. <laughs> and now, but yeah, I don't know, maybe. I mean, of course, he's going to keep his wife, Jennifer Holland, that's really hardcore. Because, of course, Gun loves putting her wife in fucking movies. And, uh, yeah, but overall, I do think, uh, Koresh Gun. I mean, he might, he might not cape Sector Levi. Or maybe, maybe they'll put a pause on those Shazam movies. And, you know, let's see what they come up. Maybe Shazam will appear in some team-up movies. Like, you know, some maybe Chemist and other DC movies. So, yeah, I don't know, man. But, let's see what else. So, yeah, but overall, let's see. Uh, but yeah, but and then I don't know, man. But if they're if they're gonna do Shazam three, it, it would it would be better if they put Black Adam. But of course, they're not, probably won't. But it probably will be The Rock, considering The Rock is fucking evil. I don't know if they'll rec yeah, they might recast Black Adam. You know, saying Doctor, I don't know if they'll bring Mark Strong back, Doctor Savannah, and uh, and Mister Mind. <laughs> but I don't know. They feel like they kind of broke up. But that was that was a stupid post credit scene. Like it's literally rehashed from the same one. From the first movie, and then this one's the second one, but this is just terrible. It's just Mr. Mind just to fucking escape. You're like, what? Come on, really? Like, really? So, yeah, also, all of a sudden, the Shazam's in the Society. Maybe they'll probably make a Just Society movie. I don't know. Maybe they'll probably keep all this Hodges Hawkman. Um, who else? I don't know if they'll keep the actress Psycho or the actress. Uh, no Shinty Nails, Adam Smasher. So, yeah, so. Yeah, Shazam, Just Society. Uh, Maybe they're gonna take a break for Shazam three. I don't know. Uh, let's see. Or hell, maybe maybe there will be a Shazam three. Lol. But yeah. But overall, yeah. Just you know, you no. Know, fun movie. Good movie. Good movie. I still think the first one was better. I actually love the first one because that one had hard in it. But this one, well, this one just a fun movie, you know, team up movie. So yeah, I thought it was gonna be a mid movie. Not 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 a bad movie. Not a mid movie, bad movie, but I understand why. But I will understand it, and I will respect why people hated on it. So yeah, but yeah, but, but yeah, but overall, yeah. But anyways, guys, thanks for watching, and yeah, that's much as I'm here. The gods blue review. And yeah, but anyways, guys, I'll see you later for more future movie reviews. So yeah, but anyways, to the next one. Peace. That's all. That's all.